Major Slack videos. Well, that was a fun practice run. Let's see if I can reproduce that fun uh, here <laughs> in the game. Uh, doing a recording. Yes, I'm back. Um, Elden Ring Express with our... I haven't actually named her yet. I just called her Sorcerer Express. We gotta come up with a better name for her. How about like Sabrina or, you know, like Sabrina the Witch. But post a comment. What should we call her? What should we call her? It's a her, right? Pretty sure it's her. Yes, it's a her. Where's the Burger King helmet? There we go. Yeah, okay, so, um... Got everything I need, I believe. Okay, we're gonna go to Wyndham Ruins. Starting off at Erd Tree Gazing Hill, up here in the Altus Plateau. And we're going to Wyndham Ruins for two important items. One is Ghost Glover at 6 so we can give um, our bad boy Where is that that, that guy right there? Banish Knight Angvo, we can give him a much needed upgrade to plus 6 and we can get the Pearl Drake Talisman and finally, the uh, three items actually the Ghost Glover, the Grape Glover Pickers Bell Bearing so we can um, buy as many Grape Glovers 1, 2 and 3 as we like this is going to involve uh, a couple of boss fights. First one is with the Tiber Mariner. He's going to call up this giant skeleton. The best way to take him down is um, Rock Sling while mounted. And we got some Exalted Flesh ready to go. Okay, so he's up there. He's going to call up this giant skeleton, which can be rather hellacious. So you want to stay away from that, and then just ride around to launch rock sling at him. There he is right there. He's going to call up the skeleton. That's unusual that he, uh, he stays there in that spot. You see spawns, yeah, I see. Okay, so... Stay away from that giant skeleton. Just keep launching those rock slings at him. And then just, you know, displace. Just ride circles around him. got nailed. Drink up there, Sabrina. I lost my lock on. <laughs> I don't think I got that um, that gold pickle foul foot off in time, but that was a weird amount to be um, rewarded with. So maybe I did. There we go. So we got a new summons. That's pretty much what I expected. Some hellaciousness, but manageable. As long as you keep running circles around him, keep launching those rock sling, and you should be okay. Don't really need to buff. Don't worry about buffs. 
All right, so now it's a different, uh, a different can of worms. Let's wipe out all the skeletons in the area. Thirty-one thousand, eh? Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Make a quick trip to the. Uh, ATM. Unfortunately, the game that I had planned to follow this turned out to be really crappy. And I was really looking forward to that game too. Now we can level up. One more point to Vigor. Okay, so that should bring Vigor up to 45 and our HP up to 1450 if I recall correctly. Fourteen thirty-eight. Well, that's all the points we're going to put into Vigor for now. And henceforth, we're going to put points into Mind. All right, um, next, back to the scene of the crime. What was the game I had planned? Skull and Bones. Anybody heard of this? Skull and Bones? Big disappointment. I downloaded the demo, played the demo, and realized that what the hell... It's just, um, it's a pirate's game, but uh, there's no swashbuckling. It's just like all ships. I was expecting some kind of like Assassin's Creed Black Flag type deal. It did not measure up at all, not even close. It was a pitiful, uh, it was pitiful. I'm so glad I didn't pay for that. Um, one thing I want to change right now is uh, put uh, here the Shrilling Hidden Tier and the Magic Shredding Crack Tier. Yeah. Um, by the way, I didn't use um, the um, common Azure in the boss fight because it's uh, it's way too dangerous. It takes too long to unload, and um, maybe you could if you timed it perfectly. But there's just too many little skeletons around, and that. The big giant skeleton and the, the comet is there, it just takes too long to unload. And he's kind of always moving around anyways. So I don't know, I don't think that's a good idea. All these skeletons here, you just wipe them out with Gravitus and then either do a strong attack afterwards to finish them off or do another Gravitus attack. And they're pretty slow too, so you can just get behind them and backstab them, lock on and spin around them, you know. Okay, so up here I want to grab the Pearl Drake Talisman. So you get close to respawning. Do a quick strong attack to finish him off. I fucking love this game. Pardon my French. This is my go-to game in my leisure time when I do actually play games in my leisure time. As difficult as it is, um, this will cost you uh, a couple of no one stone circuit. <laughs> Poor guy, <laughs> he just too slow on the draw. Okay, and a couple of scales down here. The easiest way to do this is to just go in here and spam Gravitus. That'll take care of them.
Yeah, one thing I love about this game, no buddy missions. No companion missions. There we go. Pearl Drake Talisman. Um, that will give you elemental protection across the board. Magic, fire, and lightning. Very valuable acquisition. Alright, one more thing to get is uh, Smithing Stone 5. And then we'll get into the wild interior. Okay, Smithing Stone 5. Oh yeah, there's some... Um, Green is literally around here. There they are. And finally, down this way, there's a smithing stone 5. Could be some more pickups, but I'm not really concerned about them. Just get the smithing stone 5. You just take a quick run around, see if there's any more Trina's lily. I don't think so. Oh, here. What's this? This could be a golden rune. Nope, human bone shard. Actually, I think there is a golden rune around here somewhere. Golden rune six. Lots of skulls. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> well, um, I'll pass on that because you know, it'll take me longer to find it than it is, it will to just simply farm that same amount of money at our ATM, so yeah, it's blown off. Up here to Wyndham Catacombs. Alright, we're here for um, Ghost Glove Word 6 and a cookbook that will allow us to make um, lightning arrows which is important and finally um, the lover pickers bell bearing one and I figure um, last I figure let's go with a little extra health I'm kind of torn yeah let's go with a little, a little extra health it's gonna be a dangerous area All right, um, mostly Night Comet. So make sure you got the Staff of Loss ready to go in your off hand, and also a torch, because it's pretty dark. Let's see if I can remember. Can I, yeah, see if I can remember all my strategies here. There's the boss door, locked by contraption. Watch out, there's a pressure play here. There's a ledge on the way down. There's nothing really special there. Right there. Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Grave Lover 5. Leave that up. Anyways, you want to do that anyways. Make sure you leave the elevator up. We just set a trap for the night up ahead. Alright, these guys, they're going to throw lightning bolts just out of range. But you can reach them with Night Comet if you time it right. There you go. Jeez, you can kill them with one shot. I wasted FP doing that. Okay, no problem. I hate these guillotine things. They unnerved me to no end. Okay, so watch out for imps. Walk softly, carry a big stick kind of deal. There's an imp right there. Yep, one shot. You charge up the shot, should be able to one shot him. Could be another imp in here. Um, I'm sure there is. Let's just roll and see if we can sucker him to come out. There he is. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Nice. Another great blubber five and down into the sludge swamp. These things. These things you could take out with a couple of night comets. No, don't do oh, shit, I drank a health thing by mistake. Oops. Okay, you owe me one, Mr. Fumblefingers. Just trying to get my foot in the door here. These guys, you can easily backstab because they're pretty slow, slow moving. Lock on. Spin around. These sludge things, though, they're pretty tough. That's the thing about them. The way they're positioned, sometimes I'm kind of wondering if the cannon of Haima would work better on them. Watch out, there's a pressure play here that um, drops a whole bunch of lightning bolts, and I hear another sludge guy here. Let me just experiment with cannon of Haima. That's a pretty expensive way to take him down. I don't know about that. All right. Never gets old. Never ever gets old. What? Watching the wrong guy now. I think this is the job for the cannon of Hymas. See if we can get them bunched up together. That's right. All you guys is bunched right up. Beautiful. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let me just finish them all off. With a quick whack. Bad swamp zombie. Bad. Oh, you missed the party, eh? Watch it. <laughs> I don't think so. Be advised that um, they have a grab attack, eh? So you can't really block them very well. Okay, so this is a great Ghost Glover 6. Boom. That's what one of the main things we came after. So now we can get um, Banished Knight Angle up to plus 6. This bad boy right here, this is a pain in the arse. But I developed this strategy to sucker him back to the elevator where. Um, you bring it back to the elevator and then get him on the opposite side of the hole and then just use gravitas to suck him into the hole. It's absolutely hilarious. Let's see if I can pull this off again. Try to piss him off a little bit. There we go. And let's just run for it. You could run over that uh, pressure plate there which will zap him but it doesn't really do much damage. It's just, he'll follow you all the way back. Normally. Of course, I'm recording now, so here we go. Come on, little buddy. I got a present for you. That's right, keep him coming. Keep coming. Here's the hardest part getting past this. He may take some damage. Nope. Okay, so then just park yourself on the opposite side of this, block onto him, 
and use grab just and suck him right into the hole. <laughs> Is that hilarious or what? <laughs> yeah, I just I just figured this out um, about a half an hour ago. I I always had another strategy to take that guy down. I, I've never this I just thought of this. It's just so hilarious. Works great. Works like a charm. Who loves you? Slack loves us! That's right. Don't you forget it. Alright, so, onward. Okay, up here can be a little tricky. First of all, there's an imp just around the corner here. Got a pressure plate here. Pretty sure there's an imp. There he is, right there. There he is. I always wonder where he was. Okay, he's right up on the ceiling there. Um, I think we could probably just uh, night comet his ass into oblivion. Nice charge, night comet. There we go. Ah, that works. Okay. Is there another one? Okay, in here is the Lightning Scorpion Charm. It will cost you two Stone Sword Keys. Um, I think it's worth it. Give you extra damage on your Lightning Attack, so we can use that with um, along with the uh, the Lightning Arrows that we're about to make. Um, is there a bad boy in here? Let's just... Let's up, 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 up. Nope, okay. There you go, Lightning Scorpion Charm. Grab that sucker. Here, um, this floor will start rising. It will go up to the top, it will stop for a moment, and then it will suddenly just shoot up a little bit and jam you into these spikes, which do colossal damage. It may even kill you if you don't have enough health. Um, so you got to watch out for that. There is a ledge right above us. Let's see if we can just... Um, first of all, let's get our... our archer's gear on and let's give this imp a hard time load up some fire arrows and there we go there we go Okay, now there's another imp directly above us. Um, we want to just take this off. You're going to jump off quickly. And oddly enough, he never notices. He just... He just, like, stands there. Doesn't even notice that, you know. Okay, so we got another um, knight here. He will not jump off, so you can just pretty much have your way with him. And I believe uh, the dwelling arrows will work better on them. They do more damage. It won't don't have much, but um, don't try to shoot him when he's going back and forth like that. Only shoot him when he's moving away, because these arrows will all miss. Just wait till he starts moving away, and eventually he'll drop his shield a little bit. And let's go for it. that missed and I think I'm out of arrows nope one more one left part of me done and done there we go okay now remember um this the floor will jam you into the ceiling full of spikes there so get off it quickly if you stay on it it will just suddenly shoot up and jam you into the ceiling so that's it, I believe that there's is there any imps left in here. Well, well watch out. Oh wow, blew away my stamina. Bad, bad imp. And this will open up the boss door.
very good now we want to get below the floor so um, first thing is we want to get across we won't be able to get across down below because it will rise up before so get across all the way here jump here before this sh it shoots up then jump down get off then trigger it again and jump down okay we got some sludge sludge snails and some zombies here You know the drill by now. Watch out, there's a pressure plate there. He's trying to sucker me into it. Aren't you? Very good. Okay, so a couple of giant crabs are going to fall once you go into this area here. So um, let's just sucker them out. And retreat. Retreat all the way into here. And they're too, they're too big to fit through the hole. Ain't that a bitch. You're just too damn big, aren't you? And you can just have your way with them once you load up some arrows. <laughs> there we go. Aha. Uh -huh. And let's uh, refill. That's one down. And Why is they? Come here. Come here and say that. There we go. Done and done. Magic grease. Oh hum. Golden Rune 5, not bad. Here's the big money. The Ancient Dragon Apostles Cookbook that'll allow you to make lightning arrows. This is most important. Lightning arrows. Which work great on knights. So pull that lever here, that will open this door, and now that's it. Let's go do the boss fight. In this boss fight, I had great success with Comet Azure. It was a blast. <laughs> See what it did there. <laughs> hang on, hang on, wait, you're waiting for watching. Okay. okay, let's get ready. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Ritual Sword Talisman. And, um... Yeah, spell. The Radagon Icon. Watch out for the pressure plate. Okay, let's go get, uh... Buffed up. Okay, so make sure you got um, the Cerulean Hidden Tier in your Flask of Wonders Physic along with the Magic Shroud and Crack Tier. And we're going to go Comet Azir on his ass. Maybe a little uh, Golden Bow Dagger. Yep, that'll work. 
don't need this. This is worth taking a gold pickled fowl foot. We'll take it before, so we have, won't have to be bothered. So um, this we're gonna take last. So um, yeah, we don't want to take that right away. Like that. So put it somewhere where you can easily gobble it down in the middle of combat. All right. So um, golden bow. Refill FP. Go in. Banish Knight Angle. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, buff him up. Of course. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we can improve him to plus six. Let's do that right now. Since we already got the goods. This will cost a pretty penny, but it's worth it, of course. Greetings, you here for some All right, Banish Knight Angle. Plus six. And counting. Okay, back to the scene of the crime. Windham Catacombs, where is that? Uh... Oh, that's one. Okay, it's one of those Erd Tree Burial Watchdogs, which actually look like a cat, but, you know, that's what it is. Okay, so Golden Bow, refill FP, go in, spawn Banished Knight Angle, um, Terra Magica, refill FP, switch to Comet Azure, blast him. That's the plan, let's do it. Refill that P. Gold pickle, or um. <laughs> I I completely confused myself with the commentary. That's that's the uh, that's the effect of the commentary when doing live running commentary. I'm trying to tell you what to do, and I, I just got completely confused about what to do next as I'm trying to focus on giving you instructions. So I walked in and then totally forgot. Okay, is it Terra Magica next, or is it Wondrous Flask of Wondrous Physic next? And I just uh, anyways. You got a lot of toys. You should be able to take them down, no problem. You could probably take them down with Rock Sling, too. Then maybe that's easier, but... Um, Comet Azure is always a lot of fun. Anyways, no harm done. We had plenty of resources left. I don't think it was going to be a problem. Done and done. So now we have the Ghost Glover... Or rather, the Grave Glover Pickers Spell Bearing. One. for bell bearing. Okay, so now we can buy as many grave lovers one, two, and three as we like. And make a quick trip to the ATM.
Goodbye, cruel world. I give up. I can't fly. And points into mind. We're done here. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, post a comment, stuff like that there, and I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring Express. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.